Hi. Oh no, my model is... He's so short. There we go. Okay, hi. What's up? <laughs> this is, um... First question, is the music too loud? Is the background music too loud or is it okay? I can't actually hear the music. You guys can. I cannot. So, is it too loud or is it good right now? Okay, it's fine. Okay, cool. Well, hi, guys. What's up? <laughs> How's everyone doing? I think I'm going to wait just a little tiny bit because I just put the notification out. What is up? Nothing. Nothing's really up. Just kind of... So like I said, I think I'm going to wait just a tiny, tiny bit more. Um, now that we're live and everything, um, I want to make sure that everybody can see. Like, I'm streaming. What do you mean I'm not up? I'm... Oh. I think you're bullying me. Is what this is. <laughs> Hi. Thank you so Howdy much. Howdy again, friends. Howdy. Thank you. I appreciate that. How's it going, Mr. Squiggles man? How's it going for you? Are you doing well? I hope so. I hope you're doing well. Arg. True. <laughs> Hi guys! See, this is this is why I was waiting just a tiny bit so that everybody could kind of um, catch up. I'm trying to make sure that all of my notifications are out and everything, um, so that everybody knows that we're like we're here and we're starting now. I know some of you guys have already seen the model, but I don't really care. This is the official day where, where it's like, we're doing it. That's okay. That's okay if your notes are a little late. The point is you're here now. And I am unlocking the note, uh, not the notifications. Oh gosh. Um, what's it called? The unlockables, the redeems. I'm unlocking those for you guys right now so you can start uh, theoretically messing with my model a little bit, seeing what he's capable of now. Uh, big, big thanks to Cyber for that one, for my froggy friend. Oh, is it not working? Oh no. Well, it's a good thing that you, that you've tried that. Let's fix this real fast. Hydrate. I will hydrate right now. Okay, so, quick question. Did hydrate work? Second question. You guys didn't see the giraffe, right? Because, here's giraffe. I will redeem this for you. <laughs> so, there you go. Now we have giraffe. Um, and I want to make sure, did y'all see... Do y'all see the other one? <laughs> what do you mean I dunked my head into a cup? Is it because of the weird, like, sippy that he did? Okay, so hydrate didn't- di hydrate did not work, right? Let me see. No, hydrate does work. Okay. I think we fixed it. I think we fixed it. I think it's okay now. Okay. It's just it's just making sure. Um There's a redeem cooldown now? I'm sorry. I'll turn down I'll turn down the thing. Honestly, it, I, I think the reason why there's a redeem cooldown period is because it was 
you guys kept spamming it at me. Yeah. Well, at least I know what I'm talking about. Alright, I have one more that I am unlocking right now. For you guys. Um, it should be up in just a second. This um, is yelling at me. Okay, and now we have that one up. So I think we have all of the redeems active. I think. I think this is all the redeems that you guys can use. <laughs> and if something's not working, let me know. But I think that everything should be okay now. I think. <laughs> I actually took the redeem photos today. So, I'm glad that that's working out. Um, there we go. Oh, my captions aren't working either! Y'all! You need to point shit out like that. Okay. There they are. I'm so sorry, everyone. That's really unfortunate. You need to let me know when things break, guys. I'm not very good at this. It's okay. I'll forgive you, Doc. Only this time, though. So, if I'm not mistaken, everything is working now. Um, we have all the redeems. What happens next time? Next time I kill you. Next time you die. Okay, so... Uh, yep, 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 yep. Everything should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and start this for you guys. Thank you! Um, I try to make sure that my streams are accessible for kind of everybody, unless you don't like the color pink. Because if you don't like the color pink, then you should not be here anyways. Um, <laughs> but I try to make sure that I'm accessible to you guys, and, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why you're my mod. I don't know why you're my mod anymore. <laughs> the worst thing about VTubing is that I can't hide the fact that I'm smiling. Why is Lil' Kale going all bug-eyed on me? I'm sure that was terrifying. Please don't worry about that. I'm not bug-eyed! I'm not bug-eyed. I don't know why you would say that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't have, like, a fun uh, PowerPoint presentation. I know some people do. Uh, because, to be entirely honest, I feel like that makes the stream very rigid. No hate, obviously, to anybody that does do um, stuff like that during their re-debut streams. I just don't want to. Um, so instead of doing that, I'm going to go ahead and pull you over here. There is nothing here. Let's move you guys to here. There we go. Let's do it this way. Oh, it's a little bit... I'm working through it, guys. <laughs> okay, so, you guys keep saying things are really cute. Um, I'll tell you what's what here in, here in just a second, okay, guys? Uh, so, the first thing that I want to do with you guys is we're actually going to... I Some of you have already seen my website. So I'm not going to be going through the entire website. I'm just going to kind of open it up like it's a PowerPoint presentation. And then just talk over it. 
Um... <laughs> yeah, my cursor is a carrot that turns into a bunny. <laughs> If this isn't a website thing, this is just on any website. So like here, if I go to, if I go to Google, um, that's just the way that it looks. You know, I, I have other cursors too. <laughs> I have other cursors too. You can see here, I have a bunch from like Adventure Time and Animal Crossing. Um, but I thought that the bunny would be very fitting today. I mean, I have this one. This one's really cute because it's um, Valentine's. I just, um, I just religiously hate the default cursors, so, <laughs> so I use cute ones. Um, I think that we're gonna go back to the bunny one just for the sake of theming, even though this one's, like, super, super cute. This one is, in fact, a bunny, so we'll go with this one for now. I know I used to have a boba one that reminded me a bunch of little kale but that's okay um so like i said some of you have already seen my website if you have uh don't worry i'm not going over everything like at all you guys are fine don't worry um i just kind of wanted to review some information about me since for some people this is the first stream that they've ever seen of mine um yeah so, <laughs> I may have seen it, but I have memory issues, so all good. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Okay, so, um, basic information. I'm Kale, or Battle Kale. Some people, uh, I remember this one guy on TF2 called me Cake, Battle Cake, and it was really cute. So, if you want to call me that, that's fine. <laughs> um, my pronouns are bun he because it's a bun it's a it's a pun i said bun but it's a pun bun he bunny so yeah those are my pronouns i'm being serious when i say that those are my pronouns you can use whichever one makes you more comfortable some people also just call me bun as a name which i'm okay with i speak english primarily but i do know a little bit of german i lived there for eight years uh and i'm bisexual so yeah also these are all of my links you can either come to this website, or you can use the commands command in my chat. Like, I think I have one for throne gifts. Um, yeah. If you guys really want to come look at all this and just do it. <laughs> I, my account has plenty of links on it. You'll be able to get here. Um, so, I'm actually just going to go to the about me. Again, I'm using this sort of as my PowerPoint presentation but you can visit this whenever you want to. So I'm a bunny VTuber, obviously. <laughs> um, I've been a bunny VTuber, not my entire VTubing career. Oh, Throne doesn't accept PayPal. That's really annoying, actually. I didn't know that. I do have a PayPal donation link, though. Wink. My model doesn't wink because his eyes are locked. Um, but pretend like he just winked <laughs> um so anyways i'm obviously a bunny vtuber and i started in february of 2021 but i have been wanting to stream for much much longer so when i was a little bit younger i was i would sit in front of my computer and i would pretend like i was streaming and i feel like a lot of kids do that but you know i watched markiplier and jacksepticeye and everything growing up and i was like i want to do that uh so yeah, I would just, I would play Minecraft with my friends and I would pretend like I was doing a YouTube video or streaming or something like that. And, um, I used to stream art videos on, or art content on Instagram. <laughs> and, uh, February of 2021, uh, one of my VIPs was like, it'd be really cool if you streamed as your D&D character. And his name is Pan Lucre, the D&D character and not the friend. Uh, but the friend is one of my VIPs. I think on here their name is Punch the Muscle Wizard, but I don't know. I know what their real name is, but <laughs> that's not going to help you guys. But he was like, it would be really funny if you started streaming as your D&D character. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're so right. I should definitely do that. So um, if you've been around this long, I'm amazed, first of all. 
but my channel used to be all cowboy themed. My Discord server was called uh, my saloon. It was called Kale Saloon, I think. And yeah, I just everything was cowboys, and I cowboys is one of my special interests, so that was really awesome. <laughs> but it didn't really feel like me because I was playing my D and D character. So then I was like, okay, I'll switch it and make it more about me. And I ended up changing it to a fairy. Uh, so my character was a fairy. That's actually what the um, the badges everybody has. My old model used to have a purple rose in his hair. And so all the badges everybody has are that old thing. And I kind of want to keep it just for now. Because it, it kind of reminds me of that. It makes me happy. <laughs> um, but then after I was a fairy, I was like, listen, I'm just not connecting with my VTube stuff the way that I want to. And I ended up making uh, a full model. I was using a PNG up until this point. I ended up making a full model and it was a bunny and it just, I immediately connected with it. And now we're here. <laughs> now we're here with the new model and everything. Um, I really hope that one day I will be an old little man. You know what I mean? I'll just be an old little man VTuber. Um, okay, anyways, uh, I have POTS and I have autism. I also have anxiety, but I didn't write that on here because I don't... Everyone has autism these days, right? That is a joke, I would say. Um, <laughs> I use tone indicators, I use them in chat and in my Discord server, I don't care if you ask me about that. And even though you may think my favorite color is pink, it's actually purple. Um, the only thing that's purple in my model is this necklace, actually. Uh, and also my hair has been every color of the rainbow. Almost. I'm missing, um, yellow, I think. Actually, no, I'm not sure. I think I have had yellow. It just wasn't intentional. Uh, yeah. So, actually, um, this isn't working. That sucks. Um, the pink hair is almost exactly color uh, picked from my real pink hair. My hair right now is not pink, but it used to be when I first made this model, so yeah. <laughs> okay, and then here's like my actual stream information. My first stream was Don't Starve Together, and I played it with um, the good doctor, who's one of my mods in chat. Um, another one of my mods named Radical, and I think I also played with Professor Brungus, if I remember correctly. So all of them are my mods because they're like... They're my best friends. The only people that are my mods are my best friends. Um. <laughs> my VIPs are also my best friends, mind you. Um. But yeah, and then I reached affiliate when Jerome Technoma, uh, he's one of my VIPs, gave me my last follow, and I, I finally had one affiliate. And I haven't reached partner. Um, shrug. <laughs> so anyways, these are the games that I really love. Um, these, I might not play all of these on stream, because I do have quite a backlog of games that I want to play. But my favorite games are Portal, Red Dead Online, Minecraft. Um, I don't play Dead by Daylight anymore, but I really love uh, old Dead by Daylight. <laughs> uh, TF2, Phasmophobia. I have played Phasmophobia several times with Ico Kane, who is one of my VTuber friends. And then Deep Rock is always a game I play with mods, and uh, like I said, Doom was my affiliate stream. But here on out, I plan on playing a lot more horror games. Like, a lot more. <laughs> because even though I'm really cute, uh, or my model's really cute, I really love horror. The funniest thing is that my model is super cute, super pink, super, like, fun-themed, right? And in real life, I am a black and white haired goth. So. <laughs> Up until this point, I think my most streamed category was Dead by Daylight. Um. <laughs> I see you, Froggy. I see you. Um. But I think I play Dead by Daylight the most just because it's like, it's an online game and I like playing online games. And that was kind of me pushing into horror a little bit more. But, um, 
I think it was probably also Deep Rock, which is not a horror game. It can be, but it is not intended to be a horror game. So, yeah. <laughs> I have on my list of games to play, like, Amnesia and uh, Amnesia and Amnesia, because there are three Amnesia games. Deep Rock Galactic is a game about funny gnomes. That's, I think, the best way to explain it. Um, I think I'll go with that. Okay, I'm wrong. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm just gonna move this also. Oh, I said gnomes! I meant dwarves! I'm so sorry! <laughs> I meant dwarves! I don't know why I said gnomes. I don't know why I said gnomes. I think it's because I was still thinking about Professor Brungus. Honestly, to be entirely serious with you, I think it's because I was thinking of Brungus. That is really funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> he is gnome pilled. Hmm. Damn, I'm sorry. Please forgive me, Deep Rock Galactic. This is my official apology. Um, okay, so let's go to the next. Nope, okay, cool. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess it's time to go into my stream credits. So I have a lot, a lot of people that have um helped me make this um my i'm sorry for adjusting this again um <laughs> your browser back on proves it fair enough um but there are a lot of people that have helped me get to where i am right now which i am so so grateful for that by the way guys um but yeah, here is kind of my stream credits. Um, I wanted to get that out of the way before I talk too much about myself. <laughs> so um, the model art is all by me. Uh, and I'll give you guys a better look here in a second of my model. My model art is by me. Uh, and the rigging is uh, Cyber Cyber Phantoms, I think is is what your name is here. Um, that's my friend Froggy. <laughs> Froggy did most of the rig. Um, look at all this bounce. <laughs> Froggy did, I think, maybe 90% of the rig. Which I am so grateful for, by the way. <laughs> um, my idle animation. Um, well, actually, not my idle animation. I should specify it's my tra it's my tracking loss animation. It was made by Alka Alcanimate, I think. So watch this. I'm going to uh, cover up my camera and I'm going to lose tracking. So, ignoring the weird twitch he has, I don't know why that's an issue. Um, <laughs> he goes to sleep when he loses tracking. Because sometimes I have to get up away from my computer and I don't have time to fix my, or to turn on my beer back screen or anything. So I have this, and it's really cute. No, it is a very FNAF type B, isn't it? Hold on, let's do that again, and uh, imagine FNAF. <laughs> Just like Five Nights at Freddy's. That's a game I might play, actually. I've only ever um, played FNAF on my iPhone. No, it wasn't my phone. It was my fucking iPod. I played Five Nights at Freddy's on my iPod. Yep. <laughs> um, anyways, so my logo was done by Tsunari. Um, I know right up there it says Venari. That is because uh, Tsunari had recently... Um, what's the word? Rebranded. Um, but she, I love her so much. She made this... Um, logo for me and I'm very happy it's very cute and it's way more purple than I am which I actually personally requested that it was really purple so I love it there's like a little teacup right there with the bunny coming out I love it it's so cute <laughs> um my emotes were made by Wiffletoot uh so like I'll actually put them into chat right now do 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 those emos right there were all made by my friend Wiffletoot. 
<laughs> we did a uh, phasmophobia in the past before, if you remember. She is a very cute uh, Sakura fox, if I'm not mistaken. Very cute. Love her a lot. Um, so the music that is still playing, if you guys don't mind. Um, this is by Mina FM. Like I said, I hope you guys don't mind that music is still playing. I don't have... Um... Yeah. Oh, hi, Radical. There's Rad. This is my best friend, guys. Um, this is one of the guys I play Deep Rock with. <laughs> um, but the music is called Midday Message, and it's by Mina FM. Uh, this overlay that you see right here uh, was made by my good friend Deli Chan, who is a um, red panda VTuber. <laughs> yeah! So my old overlays were made by Chrysalia, um, who I love. Uh, I just kind of wanted a little something different. Um, but yeah, Deli posted the overlays a little while ago, actually. I think it was like a month or two ago. Um, but yeah, that was definitely really fun. And it looks so good with my model. And um, if I move my head here, there you go. It says my Twitter right there, and that's really cool. <laughs> um, Lil Kill's big fat head kind of covers things up, so I might have to just... No, I don't like that. Okay. <laughs> Pretend I didn't do that. Um, but yeah, Deli made this. And my be right back, starting soon. Just chatting, ending. So actually, um, I'm going to show you guys that right now. I'm going to be quiet because there are no um, captions there. But I'm just going to show you guys the starting soon, be right back, and ending soon overlays that um, Deli Chan made. And the just chatting screen was at the beginning. So here is the stuff that Deli made for me. So, uh, Deli Chan made all of those for me and was super, super wonderful during the entire process. Um, I love the bunny ears right up there. The bunny ears above my chat box. And then um, my uh, sweater pattern also on the chat box. I love it so much. And then there's little, little bows um, right here that are um, on my sleeves. So, I, I love Deli so much. Super cute. I'm so happy with it. Um... So the art on my, like, Be Right Back screen and everything was made by Sergei Vereshkov. Uh, I don't have any links for them except for <laughs> Facebook. Um, but also super lovely to work with. And um, that art is part of the reason why my model has blue in the hoodie now, or in the sweater now. So. <laughs> yeah, so. Moving on to the next section. Uh, I have a lot of credits, so... Over here, my stream alerts were made by Lucandica. So if you follow, if you subscribe, whatever, um, if you raid, all of those were made by Luca. And I've actually uh, commissioned Luca for some OC-related stuff in the past, so super cool. Um, my banner was also made by Deli Chan. <laughs> and the art on the banner was made by Nono. Uh, I love them both, seriously. Uh, the redeem images I got from Nikki GZ. So all of the redeem images, except for the pictures of my model, were all by Nikki. Uh, and the stinger transition was by Hamadder3 on um, Booth, I think. And the, oh, the about panels are by Hanachu. Um, yeah. And I use a lot of assets as well, and so I'm going to get through the assets as well. Uh, because I think it's, I know not all asset creators are like, you need to credit me, but I still want to credit, um, the assets that I use frequently, just because it's nice. <laughs> I want to make sure that people know, um, where you can get this stuff. So the bad bun spray, uh, for the bad bun redeem 
is Thick Sugar Mommy. <laughs> uh, the Bonk is also by her. The Boba that I drink during the Hydrate Redeem is Beanie VT. The um, blanket, I have a Halloween blanket variant and this blue one are both by Lil Illustration. Uh, this little Eevee and also the Zoro Arc plushie I have are both by Kiros. And if I say anything wrong, I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, the ice pack is Super Bear Wars, and then this bunny model is by Ethera. And I haven't used it, and I, I'm not going to turn on that redeem for a little while until I figure out how to properly use it. Um, and then I have a couple other, like I have a clown nose for the clown redeem that's by Catboy Mech. Um... Pride pins, blush, yeah. Like I said, you can see it all here, so. Uh, and yeah, that, I think, is everything. Yes. Okay, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, so now I'm going to move us over here. Hi, guys. Um... And now we're going to have a little, like, model show off. And then I will do the questions and answers segment. Everybody cool with that? Uh, you don't have a choice because it's my stream. <laughs> okay, so. Here is Lil Kale. I'm so, I'm so cute. <laughs> so, just as a clarification, I call my model Little Kale. Because I am Big Kale. Like, me as a human being is Big Kale. And so my model is Little Kale. So if I say Little Kale, and... Uh, I'm not talking about me, I'm talking about the model. <laughs> so, this is the model. Like I said, the rigging was done by Froggy. And if you go to Froggy's Twitter, there is a... Um... Oh dear. Um, what's it called? Model Showcase. That's what it's called. So, yep, there's a shout out in chat right now to Cyber Phantoms. I will figure out how to make that actually happen on, on my stream itself. But in chat, that's a shout out to Cyber Phantoms. Please uh, give Froggy a follow. Absolutely wonderful human being. I love him so much. Uh, like I said, they did all of this for me. <laughs> um, so the little steppies, the little, the little hair bounce and little knee bounce. <laughs> oh, it's, it's honestly so amazing. And I, ee, look at my little dance. So obviously I did like, um, tweak it a little bit just so that, uh, it works with my face. But all of this rig and everything was done by Froggy. <laughs> and I appreciate it so much. It's so cool. Um, so yeah, let's do some of the fun stuff that you guys can do in my redeems, but for free. So this is one thing that you can do. Uh, actually, no, you can't do that. I can do this one. Um, so I do use a cane sometimes. Uh, I also use a wheelchair sometimes. But I was like... It would be really, really awesome if my model actually had that. So I have this cute little bunny cane. Um, and it's got purple on it too, so I actually lied. Um, my necklace is not the only purple I have. <laughs> uh, so I can do this. I can also... Um, actually, I lied. This one you can do as well, chat. This is the neck redeem. <laughs> So, you guys can do this. It just gives me a really long neck for a little while. Um, <laughs> you guys also have the ability to do this to my face. <laughs> you can take my nose and make me look like the, um, the eye mouth eye emoji. So, you guys can do this to me using, um, using the redeem. Oh, I mean, you can also do that. <laughs> you can also um, take away my hair and my ears and turn me into an egg. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So if you turn them all on at once, you can do this horrible thing to me. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. That's what you can do to Little Kale. Um, and then, of course, there's also the... Um, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and show you now. I have the clown redeem right here where you can turn me into a clown and I'm gonna zoom back in now I think this is how he was before I think this is how he looked let's test it okay yeah this is how he was <laughs> but um yeah so you can turn me into a clown you can give me some pet pets on my head, which is not working. Awesome. Brilliant stuff right here. Absolutely wonderful content. Did I not create it at all? Oh no, I did! Why is it not working? Y'all, we're still fixing things on the stream, okay? Just don't worry about any of this, okay? <gasps> I never made the item scene. Okay. Excuse me, guys. Uh, so you guys can do this. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, guys. We're struggling. <gasps> Why can't I turn off shield mode? Why can't I turn it off? Why can't I turn this off? How do I turn shield mode off? Oh my god, I hate shield mode! Why is it on? I didn't ask for you to be on! You disabled slow mode. I don't know if that's... Okay, no, we're good. This is so stupid. <laughs> Listen, I understand why shield mode... Um is a thing but honestly it's really annoying so i'm sorry guys i'm sorry um i don't like shield mode anyways i'm sorry uh i hope that fixes some things for you guys now everybody can stop by i'm sorry uh so let's see uh we have the hydrate redeem it gives me a little boba and i will drink in real life it does flag so many random things, and it got, it gets rid of a lot of people from being able to chat, which is my biggest complaint. Um, so it kind of bothers me that for 45 minutes, nobody's been able to chat except for mods and subscribers. That's so annoying. Um, I just, I don't get why it automatically turns on. <laughs> so, uh, let's see, what else can you guys do? You guys can bonk. If I'm being annoying, if I'm being bad, you can bonk me on the head. And if I'm being really annoying, you guys can spray me with bad bun spray. I think that's it. I think that's all the things that you can do to my model right now. Uh, that may change in the future, I will say. Um, it may be more fun for you guys. <laughs> okay. So, question time. Let's pop open Twitter and see what questions I got on there. I also have some questions for my Discord server. So I'm also going to open this up. Oh, and look at that. Uh, my friend Willow Bear is redebuting. So uh, go to at Willow Bear LOL on Twitter. Go retweet that. Um, anyways, let's see on Twitter. Let's look at Twitter first. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to be in my server. Only if you want to. Um, so if you guys have questions that aren't here... 
just ask me in chat. You don't need to redeem anything. Just ask me in chat and don't worry. Uh, so the first question is from Q Tetsu. I said, what inspired you to be a VTuber? My inspiration was you. Um, one, thank you. That's really sweet. <laughs> um, I love you. I miss you a lot, my my dear friend Q. I think it's Kiyu, actually, not Q. Minor difference. Uh, so, like I said earlier, I kind of always wanted to stream, but the reason why I chose to be a VTuber is I don't like face cams. I just, I don't really like people seeing my face. I struggle with um, face dysmorphia and blindness. And, you know, right now, I've got my hair pulled back and I'm wearing my pajamas. But no one knows that. Because, because I'm a VTuber. I look cute as hell all the time. So that's what inspired me to be a VTuber. <laughs> The artistry that goes into being a VTuber is really crazy. There's a lot of effort and a lot of time that goes into being a VTuber, and that was really inspiring to me. So I was like, yeah, let's do that. Because <laughs> I can be whatever I want to be if I'm a VTuber. I don't have to be, um, I don't have to be a random goth guy. I can be a bunny. <laughs> I do have bunny ears on my um, actual headphones, though. I'm not going to show you, but because I don't have a webcam. Well, I do have a webcam, but I don't have a webcam on OBS. But I do have bunny ears on my headphones, so I'm being a little real. <laughs> um, so that was my... That's what inspired me to be a VTuber. Also, I saw um, a couple VTubers like on TikTok and stuff, and I was like, I want to do that. We've got one from Dr. Broctor. It says, what's with the get up, bub? And as you can see, I already responded. Um, I still don't know what the actual fuck you mean by what's, uh, what's the get up. So I'm going to choose to answer this seriously. Uh, I'm going to... <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm going to answer this seriously and explain my character's design. Um, so the green sweater actually comes from my original fairy VTuber. Uh, green sweaters are just very comfortable. And my Minecraft skin had a green sweater for a little while. Green sweater and purple necklace was just a thing that my old model had. And so it carried over here um as a dress i feel like i feel like that kind of just makes sense <laughs> um the clip in the hair is a new accessory i just thought it would be fun to have a, a little bit of asymmetry and to include another bunny the bunny ears is actually uh there's lore like vtuber lore attached to that but i just like bunnies a lot I'm very autism. Like, seriously. That's not a joke. Um, bunnies are one of my biggest special interests ever. I owned a bunny when I was six, and since then I have been tainted by my love for bunnies. <laughs> the bows on the hips, I'm actually going to scoot him up ag uh, again a little bit. I know my head is being cut off, but it's okay. The bows on the hips and on the sleeves are just because I thought it would look cute. The... Thigh highs are just because I think thigh highs are the most comfortable form of tights or leggings. Come down. There we go. Um, now I gotta readjust him. And the apron is just because, like, my VTuber lore is that I am a bunny that wished on a star one day to run a tea shop. And then I got turned into uh, a human, kind of. I know, I don't have, like, a big fun lore stream here, but I'll maybe do that later in the future. Um, so the apron is just sort of, like, it's a fun little reference to the fact that Little Kale is a uh, cafe owner. And the tea and bunny is actually the name of the cafe. So, uh, if you ever wondered, it's a pun on tea and honey. But it's bunny instead of honey. Battle Kale expanded lore universe when? Ideally, 
one day. I do think it would be very cool to have like a lore stream and everything. Right now though, it's just okay as word, as just spoken word. The tea and bunny was actually not my idea. Um, I got it from just a Discord server because I was like asking for, hey, what would be a funny name for my tea shop? So I will not take credit for that. I will give credit to the live 2D Discord server. <laughs> but yeah, so I've decided to take that question seriously. Booyah. Um, alternatively, if you were an animal, what animal would you be? Serious answers only. <laughs> you'd be a rat. A rat. A rat. Germa, you'd be a rat. I think I'd be a wolf. I think so, too. <laughs> Hold on, I don't- I want to make sure everybody understands what I'm referencing. <laughs> Jerma, I'd be a lion. <gasps> it's muted. Oh my god. Hold on. I'm an idiot. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. What animal do you think I would be? Serious answers only. <laughs> a rooster. A rat. A, a rat, a rat, a rat. You'd be a rat. Jeremy, you're a rat. You'd be a rat. I think you'd be a rat. I think I'd be a wolf. I think so I too. I think so too. <laughs> I would be a wolf, lion, hybrid, hybrid mix. mix. <laughs> King of the jungle, jungle, but still social and with it. And it's ferocious. ferocious. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, uh, one, my chat turned off, so give me a sec. Uh, one, I love Germa so much. Like, if you just look at this, this is all Germa videos. I know I'm not on my VTuber YouTube, I don't care. Um, <laughs> but I love Germa so fucking much, it's not even funny. <laughs> uh, so there you go. Those are the questions from Twitter. Um, I will now go ahead and pop open Discord. I'm going to hide all the servers that I'm in. So you guys can't see. So you guys can't cyber stalk me. <laughs> okay, um... Whoa. Excuse me. That's not what I meant to do at all. Let me just not do that again. Okay, here we go. Oh, it doesn't... You can't even fucking see my... Man, you can't even see my servers. Okay, well, this is my Discord server. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just do this. This is fine. I say as I continue to move it. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you guys can see that, right? That's, like, clear enough, right? Uh, is that good? Is that nice and visible for you guys? Oh, I don't need the Kale Updates channel anymore. My model's already revealed. Okay, so. These are questions from my Discord server. Um. That's the link to my Discord. I just put it into chat right now. Uh, so somebody died asks. How much effort did you put into the model? <laughs> um. So the rigging half, you'll have to ask Froggy. So, Froggy, if you don't mind telling me um, how much effort you put into the model. That would be very interesting. The... Oh, God. The art took me a fucking long-ass time. Months. Um, the new Kale model has been in progress for literally months. Like, months. So a lot. I will say a lot of effort. <laughs> Um, I don't think people realize, like, everything is a new fucking layer. Each eyelash, each eyebrow, each strand of hair is a different layer from another. So you end up with, like, 500 layers just for one model. And mine's a pretty simple model. That's the thing. You have to think about, like, my character doesn't have a shit ton of, like, pieces to it. 
So, it was easier for me, I think. Uh, Froggy says, I put in a lot. I hyperfixate on models so I get it done quickly. Oh my god, yes. Please go get the strawberry monster. <laughs> 500 only? Um, I can actually go fact check that. Um, if you really wanted me to. Uh, yes, please, Doc. Go get the strawberry monster. If you can find the strawberry monster... Um, so, for you guys that don't know, which is probably most of you, I have a monster can collection. I'm that kind of guy. <laughs> so, I'm looking for the strawberry monster and the strawberry Dr. Pepper. I want them so bad. Valentine's is actually one of my favorite holidays. I just love love. Uh, which is why I made my debut today. I also don't want people to feel lonely on Valentine's Day, because I understand that. Um, yes, go find the strawberry monster and report back to us when you're done. <laughs> um, yeah, more layers are definitely better for a model because my hair can do this. Because I have more layers in the hair. But it, yeah, it takes a long time to draw it and it takes a long time to rig it. So, yeah, it, it, it a lot of effort. <laughs> Alright, so the second question, I'm gonna adjust how I'm sitting real fast. Uh, the second question comes from Tuboat. Uh, my favorite Minecraft mob and why? I was actually unprepared for this question. Okay, so actually on my desk in front of me, I have, um, a bunny... A Minecraft pig, a felt bunny, and then a squishy pig. So I'm gonna say probably Minecraft pigs. Specifically, baby Minecraft pigs. They are very cute and very stupid. But I am also beyond fond of sheep. Um, I think mushrooms are definitely a fan favorite. Of most Minecraft players. Um, I actually designed a costume for a mushroom. But I think I just have to settle with pig and sheep. I I remember like on all of my old Minecraft worlds, I would um, herd pigs and sheep. Because they're just so stupid looking, I think. Um, stab Stab. Louine asks, also uh, known as Banzi Sniper, asks, Stab Stab? Stab stab. I think so. I think definitely stab stab. Um, my favorite space marine legion. So this is a Warhammer 40k question. Um, space marine legions. I have to remember because I I, <laughs> I totally just googled this, but um. The reason why I'm googling it is because I don't remember the one that I like's name. I know what they look like, but I don't remember what their name is. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm a fake fan. Uh, listen, I play the I play the Adeptus Sororitas. Okay, I don't play Space Marines. I feel like the standard, I guess, answer is the, um, Ultramarines. I really like the Ultramarines, but I think my favorite is probably Thousand Suns or Blood Angels. They're both the red ones. I don't know, I kind of like Raven Guard too, though. <laughs> the Emperor's Children are all purple, so I'm kind of, I don't know, I don't think I can really, like, pick because i don't really know how they all work function wise um so i yeah i'm sorry i can't really <laughs> can't really choose but i'm gonna i'm gonna say probably blood angels um okay we have another question from somebody died my discord is the goat over here um is, was there anything I had in mind, particularly when designing the new model? Yes, actually. 
the one thing that I really wanted my new model to have is this apron because it just kind of filled up that awkward empty space and I thought it would be really really cute. Uh, a big part of why I redid my model is because I wanted hands on this model. My old model, uh, his hands were covered up. But I really wanted hands on this one so I can <laughs> so I can use assets. That's actually the only reason is because I wanted to use free assets for like um, Twitter and stuff. Um, also, I really wanted the hair to be bigger and to move a lot. So my biggest thing was like, I want big, fluffy hair. Uh, because my last model, he was good. His hair just was really like stiff and kind of awkward. So that was my biggest thing. I just wanted to make him all around bouncier and more fun. And doing this with the hair was definitely a great way of getting that. Also, I wanted his eyes to be droopy. Uh, because his eyes are kind of big and they're kind of droopy. And um, I really wanted that. Because my old model had very pointy eyes. And it just didn't really feel like comfortable and like calm. He felt a little too energetic. <laughs> um, and a, a minor thing, actually, is that I wanted his bunny teeth really bad. That was like the first thing that I added. Um, so I'm going to zoom into my model a little bit. So you can see he's got these two bunny teeth. Um... He's got the two bunny teeth in the front, and then he's got very sharp teeth after that. That was um, actually important for me to include in my model. Just because um, I have I have very sharp teeth. <laughs> so, I thought it would be fun if my model kind of had that too, you know what I mean? Um, okay, Paragon says... Will you? What do you think about? What if... Can I, between, and which do you? Do you have, I wonder if, B, X, 34? Um, so this is actually a very interesting question from Paragon. Um, I did think about this a little bit outside of stream, and I think that, um, if I were to, I would definitely, and then I think that I would end up going into, and I think that that's very important. <laughs> so, thank you, Paragon, for your question. Um, incredibly valuable. Um, very great question, Paragon. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to switch you guys over to Twitter just so I can fix my um, window capture because I fucked it up. I fucked it up in order to um, let you guys see the uh, Discord. So, there we go. Um, now we're going to move again. And let's uh, reopen all of my servers because I just actually disappeared them all. Okay. Now we're good. Okay, so now you guys can ask any question that you want. And I will answer it. As long as it's not like inappropriate or offensive, I will answer any question. And as you guys do that, um, I will start getting things ready for my next game. For Well, I guess for my first game. Okay. Now I'm all set up, so now I have some um, time. Who is your favorite VTuber? That's a good question. Let me open Twitch real fast. Um, let me kind of just look around. 
So specifically VTuber, not streamer. Specifically VTuber, not ah! streamer. That was scary. Um, okay, I'm really fond of Stormy. Um, they're a... Another bunny. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, Q. Q tattoo. Love Q. Um, we're just, we're friends. Outside of everything. Uh, Jin Quickspear is a really, really cute hedgehog. I'm not naming my favorite yet, though. Um, hmm. Man. This is a really hard question, actually. Mm -mm. <laughs> Maybe Lasso Cassidy? I don't know. I feel like kind of bad picking someone. Um, I'm trying to find the username of this one VTuber that I really love. I, I know they're somewhere. I feel really bad, but I can't remember their username. They're this really fucking cute, um, chubbier VTuber, and they're gender fluid, and uses a very bunny, not bunny, a fairy model. I can't remember what the fuck their username is, though. Uh, they drew and rigged their entire model themselves. But like I said, I can't remember what their fucking username is. They're one of the very first VTubers I ever started watching. <sighs> but now that I say it, of course I can't find. Hmm. I saw uh, Sammy? Oh fuck, I think that's it. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, you're the best! Holy shit, you are the best. Yes, it's a uh, Fairy Sammy. You are so good at this. You figured out what I, what I was talking about immediately. I don't know how you did that, but yeah. <laughs> so, Fairy Sammy. Oh my gosh! Thank you! <laughs> Thank you for the follow! Welcome to the Tea and Funny! Um, hi! <laughs> This is my re-debut, so welcome. Uh, right now I'm doing a QA and a segment, so if you have any questions at all, um, ask. I will- I will answer anything. Yes, but Fairy Sammy, uh, is- I love them. So much. They were one of the first people that I watched. And kind of one of the people that got me into VTubing. One of. Um, but seeing a- one, a chubbier model, and two, seeing a beautiful fairy model like that, um, <laughs> there's, like, a bunch of fun little things that they can do, like, they can, um, with their current model, they can, like, have boobs or not have boobs, uh, because of gender fluid, and I just, that's just one of those things that I really love about their model. But, yeah, so satisfying to watch the way that their character speaks and moves and I just seriously an amazing model because it the art and the rig is both Sammy's. Okay guys, we got an update from the good doctor. The good doctor just left a little while ago to um to get some strawberry monsters and uh he just found two. <laughs> So, yay! Everybody say congrats to Doctor. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, 
Because, I, I, like I said earlier, I collect monster cans. So. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats to Doc for finding two of the strawberry monsters. That's awesome. <laughs> it's a really cute can, too. I am looking for them. I'm also looking for the Dr. Peppers. Because I love strawberries, and I love Valentine's Day. Um... It, I don't think it takes a genius to tell that I I really like pink and I really like hearts. Like, my apron has a heart on it, and down there my thigh highs have hearts on them. And my whole model is pink. So, <laughs> I really love Valentine's Day. That's that's part of the reason why I chose um, today to be my re-debut. Because I was just like, yeah. And I, I like I said earlier, I don't want any be, anyone to be alone on Valentine's Day. I want everybody to feel the love. So... That's why you have me. <laughs> okay, um... My favorite streamer is probably Yerv, though. Um... Yeah. So my favorite VTuber, I'm gonna have to say it's Sammy VT. Just be- um... Just because they're really, really amazing. And again, one of the first people that got me into VTubing. But... Streamers, I'm gonna say, um, probably Yerv. He does primarily um, Dead by Daylight content. Or just um, horror content. Or maybe Astral Spiff. Um, I absolutely love that guy. Really funny. Or Jerma. I feel like that was probably what you were looking for with my answer. But maybe Jerma. Hi, Siske. Hi. This is uh, another one of my mods that I play Deep Rock with. So right now we're doing the Q&A segment. So ask anything that you want and I will answer it as long as it is appropriate and not offensive. Because if it's offensive or inappropriate, I just won't answer. I might ban you. <laughs> this has been really good so far, actually. I was kind of nervous um, earlier. Siske was actually hanging out with me earlier and I was just like... Sitting there, like, trying to be like, yeah, Suske, let's have donuts and stuff. And But I'm just like, oh, God. Oh, God, the de the debut. Um, my friend, Mr. Squiggles, he actually stopped by and is my recent sub uh, right up there. He sent me this clip from a streamer called Atstarva, who's another Dead by Daylight um, streamer. And Atstarva was just like, you know, people make this mistake all the time. VTubers get too nervous about their debut. And I was like, yeah, no, that's completely true, actually. So I just had to remember, like, I shouldn't be taking this too crazy seriously. Because it's it's fun. This, this isn't, like, something super crazy. Like, the rest of my VTubing stream career, like, it doesn't rely on this moment. But, you know. I, I still just couldn't help and be like, oh god, nobody's gonna hang out, nobody's gonna say anything, and I'm gonna be talking to myself for like an hour, which is okay. <laughs> Even if that was the case, I wouldn't mind that much. But, yeah, hi guys. <laughs> this is going really well so far, so I just wanted to thank y'all real quick. Like I said, I am doing questions right now, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I do believe I was asked a question in another server though, so I'm gonna grab that real fast. If I can find it. Hi, Wolf Anubite! I saw you on Twitter earlier! <laughs> I saw you earlier! Uh, so let's see if I can... We're doing the uh, Q&A segment. I don't know if you heard that right now, but if you have any questions, um... Feel free to ask. I'm trying to find... I'm trying to find my question. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So, I have uh, a couple questions from a different Discord. I'm not going to pull them up uh, just because I don't want to deal with that again. But, um, the two questions are, what does this re-debut mean to you? 
Uh, and how will the content change? <laughs> I'm still so glad you like it. You guys are so cute. Um, so the first question. How will my content be changing? I'm, I plan on doing more horror content, actually. So I, again, I know I said this earlier. I know I'm super cute, but I want to do some horror content. So, uh, the game after this is going to be scary. <laughs> um, I want to get into more horror content. I want to start doing stuff kind of on my own a little bit more. Um, I do love collaborative streams with my mods or with another VTuber. But, uh, I feel like sometimes that's all that I stream. So I'm very excited to, like, kind of do it on my own, if that makes sense. Like, obviously, I'm still going to do collabs and stuff. I'm just um, going to try and do more that's just me. Um, and like I said, more, more uh, horror content. <laughs> I might do... I've been considering this for a while. I might do, like, story time streams. I don't know if anybody would be interested in that. But I was thinking, like, it would be kind of interesting if I did um, stories. If I just read stories. I don't know how I would set that up, but if anyone's interested, let me know. <laughs> uh, so I think that's kind of my plan right now. Um, and then what does this re-debut mean for you? That question is interesting. This re-debut for me marks, like, me taking this shit seriously, if that makes sense. Like, before this was kind of, like, something fun that I would just do, like, randomly. But now I kind of want to take it a little more seriously, do it a little more. Like, I don't, I will say, I don't plan on being, like, a famous VTuber. Like, that's not my goal. Um, my goal is still, I want to create a safe environment for people and to make friends. That is still my goal. It has been from the beginning. But I want to put a little more emphasis now on um, streaming. Like, actually playing the games that I say I'm going to and holding series. So, like, I'm not just going to play Resident Evil once or play Portal once. Um, which reminds me, I have to finish both of those. I decided that I was just going to play the rest of Resident Evil on my own. Just because it has been so unbelievably long. Um, but with Portal, I'm actually not sure. If you guys want to see me continue playing Portal 2, I will. Um, otherwise, I think I'm, I might restart playing Portal 2. I'm not sure. Um, but I want to stream a lot more. <laughs> That's, like, my biggest goal. And just be more serious about things. So. Yep. Um, I think that's... Yeah. I think that's kind of my, um, final thoughts on that question. Or those two questions. I just want to take this more seriously and have more fun with it. Which is weird, because those you don't think that those things go hand in hand. But, to me, they do. Um, and I am actively looking for something else. So, if you guys have uh, more questions, absolutely go ahead. Um... Because like I said, I am doing this. I'm trying to set something up that's fun for you guys. Also, how is everybody doing? Oh, when is my birthday? That was actually... Um, so don't worry about that being like a nervous thing to ask uh that was on my website my birthday is september 17th so 9 17. i'm a september child so that makes me a virgo what is my favorite part of my model oh i was hoping somebody would ask i was hoping somebody would ask okay um hmm Okay, so I think I have several things. This isn't necessarily a part of my model, but my my cane. Um, I, so I will give you two answers. One is my cane, 
Because it's not necessarily a part of my model itself, I will not include that as my final answer. But, I'm going to come in really close, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. I know I'm really close. I know it's really awkward. I know parts of my model are cut off. Don't worry about it. Okay. It's only so that I can show you my favorite part of the model. Um, so, my eyes are definitely a really big one. I love the way that they jiggle. Not my favorite, though. The little freckle on my cheek, the little heart-shaped freckle, love it, not my favorite. My favorite part of my model is my teeth. <laughs> I know that's like a very specific thing, but it is the teeth. I love the like bunny shape that they have, and then the sharp right after it. Maybe also the dimples that like pop up when I smile. But yeah. I know I just said like five things right there, but um, it boils down to my favorite part of my model is the teeth. <laughs> these would these comments would be weird in any other context. <laughs> That's the thing with VTubers is that you can be like, oh wow, your model's teeth look so good, and they'll be like, oh my god, thank you. <laughs> But if you told someone that their teeth were like, oh, wow, your teeth look so great, it would be, like, a little bit weird. Unless you guys were, like, friends, I guess. But, yeah, and I love the, like, three-mouth shape that I have. <laughs> I'm just really happy with my model, but it's definitely, like, the teeth that make my model, like, so cute to me. Because I kind of have bunny teeth a little bit. So, I don't know. I like seeing it. He's just so cute. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. Um, and I am almost done with what I'm doing. Oh. Safari froze. That's not... Very polite. The teeth are such a nice detail. I hate to toot my own horn, but I'm going to agree. They're just really, really cute. Like, I don't know. It, it, they really do make me happy to see. Hi, welcome back. Um, I have already informed the group that you have uh, succeeded in your mission, but if you would like to tell us more about it, absolutely go ahead. We are still doing the Q&A segment, so if anybody has any questions, please ask. Um, in the meantime... Ooh, that sounds fucking good. I actually have peanut butter M&Ms, too. Um, I have a fun idea to keep, to give you guys something to look at. Any fun facts about the cafe? Um, I think so. Okay, yeah. So, one fun fact. Uh, the tea and bunny is a pun on tea and honey. So that's the first fun fact. Uh, the second fun fact is that the menu is all uh, bunny themed. <laughs> Like, you know those gifts that go around of the bunny jello and people, like, smack it with the spoon? Absolutely on the menu. Um, I feel like it. there isn't just Western food, there isn't just Asian food, there isn't just, like, Mexican food. I feel like I have a little bit of everything in the cafe, if that makes sense. Um, lots of windows. Definitely lots of windows. Mexican is Western. Well, I mean Western American is what I meant, but yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I, it's a lot of pastries. A lot. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of like fun facts, like actually fun facts and not just telling you what the cafe is like. Oh, we decided this uh, at the two-year anniversary stream. Uh, that... Whenever something bad happens on the stream, 
I say that, oh no, it's a truggle. Like, I'm truggling. Um, because it sounds like struggling, except I'm taking the S off. So it's just truggling. And so we came up with the idea that truggles are evil little gremlins that haunt my stream. And if anything goes wrong, the truggles are causing the stream issues. Kind of like if you're on, like, a Disney ride and... They're like, uh-oh, so-and-so, like, Ursula is being evil, and it made the ride stop. That's kind of what the Truggles are to us. And so one of the items that we have is a Truggle Jello. <laughs> we, agreed, we agreed that to kill the Truggles, <laughs> we have to set them on fire. <laughs> so it's more like a creme brulee. <laughs> So that's one of the things on our menu. <laughs> Can you order a, ju a jumbo sized bun flan? Absolutely. Tremboule. It'd be tr trug trug boule. No, I like tremboule more. Um, but yes, you can have a jumbo sized bun flan. That sounds delicious. Um, one day, I know this won't happen. But one day, I would love to just... In my dreams, I'll say. I would love a... Um, a kale... A battle kale tea and honey. Like, to be real. That would be so fucking awesome. Because um, I love those, like... Cafe videos where they just, like, make tea. And I actually just love tea. So it would be really, really fucking cool to see that in real life. I see places like that in Japan all the time. Where it's like... um You know, like, all of those pop-up cafes, I guess, is the best way to explain it. Um, where, you know, the, the, like, a pop-up Kirby cafe. I see that one often, actually. What's my favorite tea? I'm going to say taro milk tea. Um, or maybe, um... Honey oolong tea. But those are, those are like, I drink those with boba. So if we're ignoring drinks that include boba, just like straight up tea, um, I have a creme brulee tea that I am beyond fond of. And I also have a, um, hmm, what's it called? Taro milk tea is purple. It is uh it is known for being purple. Um some people say it's taro. I call it taro. I don't I don't know. But if it's if it's we're not including boba, it's probably the creme brulee tea that I own or the um it's like a cranberry apple. It's really good. But I like sweet teas, obviously. I have a strawberry tea that tastes really good, too. But, ironically, I'm not a sweet tea person. I don't like sweet tea. So, yeah. Matcha is also super good, though. Okay, so, it is really nice. It is really nice. Um, it's so good. I don't care if you're gonna update, silly. All right, so, I have an activity set up for us. <laughs> and then we'll play a game. Um, Okay. Oops, wrong one. Sorry. Here we go. <laughs> tier lists! I love tier lists. So, we're gonna do this while we continue the Q&A segment until we're bored. Um, just ignore all of the ads. I know. It's horrible. Um, actually, we can do this. There we go. We'll do this. 
So I'm going to be ranking some candies because it is Valentine's Day. It does feel fitting to do so. Um, yeah. So we're going to do this until um, when I'm done with this. That'll be the end of the Q&A and we can go on to the next game. Are we good? Are we ready for that? Is everybody okay with that? Good. Uh, but like I said, it is Valentine's Day, so we might as well. All right, we will start with 100 grands. I hate those. Uh, I can only have three Musketeers in moderation, so I have to put them in B because they're good, but I can't have too many. Airheads I will put in A. Um, Just because I don't get them super often. They kind of hurt my teeth, though, actually, so I'm going to put them in B. These if I'm not mistaken, are sour ropes. So they're going up here immediately. Hello, Mother Tamale. <laughs> right now we're doing a tier list and um, question time. So if you have any questions, go ahead, I'll answer them. I'm doing this tier list right now. <laughs> also, I'll see you later. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's very much so appreciated. And I need to resize this a little bit. My favorite type of chair? That's a... That's a question. Um... What is my favorite type of chair? Not gamer chairs. Gamer chairs are bad for your back. Spinny chairs are good. Hmm... I'm gonna have to say, like, yeah, like an office chair, like, that's spinny, um, and has wheels on the bottom. Those are also easy to fall over in, though, so. I, I think I'm gonna have to go with that, just because it's very convenient to roll around. Mesh, mesh office chairs are, like, weirdly good. No, not leather. I'm gonna say mesh and, and like, that cottony, um, not meth. Bean back chairs are good too. I fucking hate Altoids. On the opposite side though, I love Andes. Side note, I'm if you need me to explain one of these, I will, but I might get a little passionate. Uh baby roots are good. I like peanuts. I don't like them that much though. I fucking hate licorice. Black licorice. Normal licorice is good. I don't know what these are. Bottle caps are supreme. Hate Butterfingers. I love candy corn. I love Charleston Chews. I've never had this before, but it looks good. Okay. I feel like crunches are... You either get them in your Lunchable, or you get them in your candy bag. In either way, you try to trade it off. Like, you try to give it to somebody else. Not because they're horrible, but just because, like, you don't really want them. You know? Like, there's there's a, there's a better candies out there. Uh, Dots is... I hate Dots. So much. I'm the person the crunch is given to? Yeah. No, yeah. I, I am not a crunch person, but if it is given to me, I will probably eat it. Like, there, there's better candies out there. But there are significantly worse ones. <laughs> Uh, dum-dums. I really like the butterscotch dum-dums. <laughs> I am the one who crunches. I really like butterscotch dum-dums, but I think that's it. So I'm gonna put them in C just because I don't really like a lot of them. Uh, I don't think I've... Excuse me, I'm moving around a lot. I don't think I've ever had a Ferrero before. I know what they are, I just don't think I've ever had one. I hate fireballs. Mm -mm. At my... I don't know, maybe 6th? Six, 6th birthday? Um, I found a uh, wrapped fire fireball in my dad's shoe. And I was like, oh, okay. And I opened it up and I ate it. And I immediately spat it back out into the packaging and never had one again. I hate them. <laughs> I hate them so much. They're so gross. They're very bougie. Yeah, that makes sense. 
I... I don't know what they taste like at all. Uh, Fun Dip is always good. But you can't have too much or else you're gonna feel like you're gonna puke. These are supreme. Especially the, um... Raspberry one of these. So fucking delicious. So delicious. I don't remember what a gobstopper tastes like. I know what I I know I've had it, but I don't remember what it tastes like. I've never had a goober. And I don't know what good and plenty tastes like. Fun dip is very high on the list of snorable candies. A fun story about that. <laughs> no, I didn't snort fun dip, first of all. Second of all, there was this kid that was sitting with us at the lunch table when I was in elementary, maybe middle school. I think I think it was middle school. And, um, <laughs> I gave him my Kool-Aid packet, because I, I didn't want it. Um, like, out of my Lunchable or something. And I was like, here you go, like, I don't want it. Enjoy it, Dakota. <laughs> and he, he dumped it onto the counter and snorted it. And there was this, like, staff lady that was, like, watching our table, because... They got kind of loud, loud and rowdy sometimes. And he snorted the whole packet in front of her and she did nothing. She just, <laughs> she just sat there and watched him. So, that was fucked up. Um, Haribo. Love Haribo. Black Forest Gummy Worms specifically? They're okay. They're okay. Uh, Heath bars are okay. Hershey bars are way better because you can s'mores them. High chews are brilliant, but only in lower qualities, qu quantities. Sorry, hot tamales stay in the same place as fireballs. Fucking disgusting. <sighs> Jelly bellies are okay. They're okay. Jolly Ranchers. I love Jolly Ranchers, but they hurt my teeth. So I have to put them here. Juicy Drop Pops. I actually have this exact Juicy Drop Pop in my room right now. It's going right here. Junior Mints are going up high next to Andy's. Is this a Kinder Egg or a Kinder... I think it's a Kinder Egg. So it's going to go up really high. I miss these a lot. Um... Hershey's Kisses. On just normal Hershey Kiss flavor is kind of bad. It's just sad chocolate. Kit Kats, on the other hand, are really good. Oh my god, the infamous Krabby Patty Sliders. Immediate S tier. You don't know what half of these are. I'm assuming that you aren't in America. I've lived in America and overseas, so I, I think I know all of them. Um, South Africa. That'll do it. Uh, I hate crackers. Sad. Laffy Taffies. I think I'm gonna put them next to the high chews. Lemon heads are okay. My mom likes them a lot. Uh, Lifesavers are gonna go down there. Lifesavers gummies are worse. Lindors are brilliant. And I don't think I've ever had a Mamba. Mike and Ike's are good. Do they still make Pez dispensers? Yes, they do. Um, I had a Pez dispenser in my room. I don't know where it is. But yeah, they do. Um, they're not nearly as popular, but they do make them. Milk Duds. Supremacy. Milky Way's Supremacy. Actually, I'm going to supreme them more. Okay, normal M&M's and peanut M&M's. Normal M&M's are like a B tier. Uh, maybe like a C tier, just because they're like on the same level as Kisses. But peanut M&M's immediately are up in B, maybe A. I like them. I prefer peanut butter. Mr. Good Bar is also like Crunch, where you just give it to somebody else. Same as like these, the cracker ones. Or maybe they're called Cracked. I don't know. 
These Nika wafers just taste like styrofoam, which scratches something deep in my brain, even though they ta don't taste very great. Good bar, Mr. Like, Mr. Okay bar. True. Nerds are maybe C tier. B tier? I think I'll put them in B tier. They're truly mid, but nerds ropes are really good. Well, okay, I already said, I don't like the flavor of Nekos. I like the fact that they feel like styrofoam in my mouth. <laughs> I'm not that old, okay? I'm- no! I- I don't like the way they taste. I like the fact that they feel like styrofoam. Give me one sec, someone's banging on my door. Hey guys. Oh, I put you on the wrong one again. There you go. My mom came in and she was like, I just wanted to see if you're streaming. And I was like, oh, yeah, I started at three. And she was like, I'm so proud of you. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, oh well, okay. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm not old guys, okay? Look, stop. I'm not that old, okay? I like Nekos because they feel like styrofoam. I recognize that they're not a good tasting candy. The only reason why they're so high is because I, I like the way they feel. Stop, y'all. My mods bully me, guys. What are these? Are these now and laters? I think these are now and laters. I'm gonna put now and laters here because they hurt my teeth really bad. Stop, y'all. Leave me alone. <laughs> Okay, this one will redeem me. I hate these so much. I hate these. This is like actual old man candy and it's horrible. I hate them. So does that redeem me? Paydays are not bad though. Does this redeem me, guys? I'm so sorry. Yeah, orange slices. And I'm actually going to move life savers up. I fucking hate orange slices. They taste so bad. They like linger in your mouth. Peeps are immediately atop. I have uh, this yellow peep, except it has chocolate on the bottom, and it's been preserved in a, um, like a dome for like two years. Circus peanuts. They're okay. I don't know if circus peanuts are on here, but they're okay. Oh yeah, here's Pez right here, Wolf. Pez is like a C tier. Pixie sticks are also C tier. Pop rocks goes a little higher because I like the way that it pops. Hence pop rocks. That's why it's called that actually guys. Push pops are sad. They ju they're just not sad. They're just sad. Um, I am going to return to old man status and say that I really like raisinets. I'm going to put them in maybe uh, A tier. Red vines are really good, so I'll put them in B. Reese's Pieces are immediate. Oh, that's not Reese's Pieces. That's just actually Reese's. Uh, I'm gonna put this in B. Y'all, why is it... Hey, can I get someone that isn't a mod in chat to be nice to me? <laughs> uh, Ring Pops, I hate them. Rolos, I love them. Runts, I love them. So actually, fun fact about runts. Uh, my dad and my uncle used to eat them all the time. But neither of them liked the bananas, so they always used to give the banana runts to me. That's why I like banana runts so much. Uh, Skittles are... they're like a good candy, I guess. I'll put them here. No, Rolos are amazing. I think my dad said he was going to call me banana runt, so I'm actually okay with that. I feel like I've been called that before. Snickers. 
They're a B tier. They're good. They're, they're not my favorite, but if somebody gives me a, a Snickers, I'll eat it. Snow caps are literally just chocolate covered with sprinkles. They're on the same level of kisses. Uh, what's this? A sour punch? I think these are the- are sour punch the Twizzlers that are really sour? Because if that's the case, I'll put them up here. Yeah, okay. What is this? I do not know what this is. I don't know what you are. Actually, I'm going to pull Sour Punch up higher. Sour Patch is also up here. Uh, Sprees. We like chewy Sprees in my household, but they'll go up here. Okay, Starburst. Starburst is like a good B tier. If you eat too many, you start to feel like this is grandpa candy right here. I ate the shit out of Sour Punch when I was four. Yeah, me too, actually. Uh, this is like the ultimate grandma candy. I'm gonna put it right here. And my tier list is now getting too big for me to keep in frame all at once. So now I have to shift my whole fucking thing around. Here, actually, I can do this. I'll do this. Um, that way you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's keep going, let's keep going. Uh, sugar babies, they're sad. Swedish fish, I recently found out that I like them. Sweet tarts, same. Sweet tarts and spree are like the same thing though. I don't know what this is. It says Reese's take five, but that doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand what that is. Toblerones. I've actually never had a Toblerone. And a Tootsie Roll Pop. I would say that's B tier. And a Tootsie Roll is probably a little higher. I don't know what a Take 5 is. I have no idea what a Take 5 is. And these are these are the colored Tootsie Rolls. They're S tier. Oh, Toblerones are good? I... I've heard about Toblerones. Trust me, I have. I've just never eaten them. Trolley sour crawlers are very yum. Oh, Twix is S tier. Uh, Twizzlers are not as good as Red Vines, so I don't know where I put Red Vines. Right here. So, Twizzlers go right here. Warheads, I have trauma with. I hate Warheads. Warheads, uh, I ate a Warhead and I put it into my cheek. And it literally burned through the skin in my cheek and it hurt. For like actually weeks. It was immensely painful. It was horrible, guys. Where there's original, I'm gonna be old again and say that they're very, very much so up here. Reese's take five are pretzels, peanut butter, peanuts, and caramel. That doesn't sound bad. I've made my mouth bleed from warheads. That's what happened to me. I had a hole burned into um my cheek. My father eats whatchamacallits, but I don't really know what they taste like. I think I'm going to put it here if I'm remembering them correctly. A good quality milk chocolate with chewy nougat bits in it. Okay, that sounds good. That sounds very good. Uh, Whoppers. Whoppers are not that great. At all. I like uh, Maltesers. Those are much better than Whoppers. This is a York Peppermint Patty. I'm going to put that in S. And then a zero. I don't know what a zero is. So there we go. Uh, this is this is my this is my candy tier list. Right here. So yep, there we go. That's my uh candy tier list. Best sour candy I ever had was called Toxic Waste. I think that's a Mexican candy. I have never tried it. Butterfingers? Fuck no, I'm not putting Butterfingers higher. What's wrong with you? I'm not putting Butterfingers higher. What? Did someone ban this guy? Ban this guy out of my chat right now. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. Please don't do that. I don't know shit that's happening. 
Plutonium 245 is your favorite toxic waste. Get out of here. Time out for 13 hours. <laughs> Tamale actually got timed out. Only for only for 10 seconds though. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Um I'm going to consider this the end of the um end of the segment, end of the question segment unless we have one more question. This is the end of the segment. I'm going to go on bareback and I will come back with a video game. Does that sound good to everybody? I'm doing a dance. Does that sound good to everybody? Is everybody happy with that? Okay. Sounds good. Thumbs up. You gonna make me hydrate before I go? Hold on. My face tracking gets so fucked up whenever I drink something. Maybe I should start using straws. I might actually have to start using straws on stream because little Kale just goes blah 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 blah. Okay. Since nobody's arguing, I'm going to put you on the be right back, and I will be right back.
Oh my gosh. Thank you guys. I love you guys. You always catch me. I was still muted. <laughs> Don't call me a loser. Okay. We're playing Amnesia now. I hope it didn't take too long. I reheated my coffee, took a quick bathroom break, and this game is fucking loud. I'm sorry. Okay. The world of Amnesia is a dangerous place, and you're extremely vulnerable. <laughs> okay, so don't fight. Just run. I won't play in a dark room. This is actually fine. Um, because I have issues seeing. I do have headphones on. Thank you. Okay, let's go. I'll turn down the volume very quickly. Uh, Kale. Oh, it's so loud! Good god. I can barely hear myself think. My god. Alright, hey guys. Is that better? Is is everybody okay with this? Uh, let's turn the mouse sensitivity up just right off the bat. Uh. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yes. Show me everything. I don't need commentary. Okay. V-Sync off. Always love that. Okay. Are all of these settings okay? Is everybody okay with this? Is it... It's not too loud or anything? I know the... Uh, it just cut out right then. That was just because um, I tapped out. The volume's not too loud or anything. Okay. I am going to turn down the volume just down one more time. Because my hearing is sensitive. And uh, I I think it's okay. Is, is everybody okay with this so far? Uh, let's see if I can make this notification go back out. Okay, so I did change this thank you so much wolves for stopping by though i appreciate you squatty law uh let's make sure that this is out of the way i have notifications for some reason Um, I'm just getting rid of notifications real fast, so that way I can... Very wonderful. Okay. Well, bye bye It was great seeing you! Alright. Um, actually, I'm gonna hop on Twitter real fast and let Twitter know that we're starting a game. Uh, because I forget that I have Twitter. But I do! Uh, we're playing... Oh, fuck. Playing Amnesia now. Come see me pee my pants. Does that sound good? Does that, like, nice and convincing? Okay, uh, come, come, no, okay, so, come see me, uh, get scared by chairs. Does that sound good? Come see me get scared by chairs. Is that more convincing, guys? Is that better? I, like, would you guys rather see me get scared by chairs? I should probably specify we're playing the Dark Descent. Okay, here, instead of chairs, literally everything. Yeah. That's better. Alright, just tweeted it. Let's play. 
Well, you're not gonna see the piss. Well, I did say that. Okay. Uh, let's play it normally. I'm also eating right now. I'm eating a snack, so if that bothers you guys, I'm sorry. Don't forget. Some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. Okay. My name is Daniel. Hi, Daniel. I live in London at... at... Uh, Mayfair. Okay. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. Okay. I'll thought. I'll... My name is... is... I am Daniel. Okay. What you doing, Daniel? Is that it? I guess so. Okay, guys, I'm Daniel. I live in Mayfair. That's what he said, right? I will also say, I've never played an amnesia game ever. Okay, looks like we're starting now, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my cup over here. Take a sip. That was a little hot. Okay. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Can we turn that down a little bit, or no? Mm-mm. Oh, advanced options. Okay. Okay, this might be <laughs> this might be good. Uh Welcome to Motion Blur Hell. Yeah, no kidding. I can turn off radio. Okay, so I can turn these off. I think it's image trail. Okay, yeah, there we go. Uh I'm sorry guys. I know it said play as intended. I can't do, um, I can't do that blur. It's going to actually cause me pain. So I'm sorry, but I'm not willing to hurt myself for you guys. Okay, that's a lot better. Um, actually just one little bit more. There we go. Alright, yeah, I'm sorry guys, but I just can't do the motion blur, so... Oh. Awesome. I can throw things. Is this supposed to be blood? But why? Is that for my blood? Uh, the stains tell me to go that way, but I don't want to go that way. This has a... This definitely has a charm to it. I found a tinderbox. This is my inventory. Okay. Okay. Damn, I gotta, like, really jack up these sensitivities. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> doink, 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 doink. Doink, 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 doink. Okay, yeah, I think... No, it's... It drags. I'm sorry. Let's, uh, double it. Give it to the next person. That's... Okay, okay. I was pressing the wrong thing, wasn't I? I think I was. No, wait. I didn't click OK, did I? It drags so much. Okay, that's okay. We're good. Is there anything over here? Is there a sprint? No, there's a crouch, but there's no, no sprint. Unless... Nope, no sprint. Okay, what's going on over here? Uh, nothing, but I can light some candles, which I don't want to do. The strawberry dream is exactly what I anticipated. Is it a strawberry dream? Very creamy. Okay, that ain't bad. Okay, cool. It's telling me to go this way. Whoa. Hello? Hello? 
Okay, first question, why was I getting all woozy? Second question, why was I on the floor? Hello? Whoa. Oh. Oh no, wind. Okay, so I can hide in the closet. I don't think this is important. I don't know. What's going on in here? Not much. Ooh. They're giving me a lot of tinder boxes. Why is everything sideways, by the way? I don't- what is this? Is this supposed to be blood because it's pink? Is this like a censorship thing? I know some places uh, they'll censor blood with pink. Why am I so fucking sideways? Yeah. Yeah. Oh fuck, maybe I shouldn't have played a horror game. What the fuck? Get up, my man. What the hell? Guys, I don't think I should have played a horror game. I'm gonna be honest with you. I was taking a little nappy nap, that's true. Okay, I can jump. Whoa. Okay. My anxiety is very high. And I okay, here's the thing. I drank coffee earlier. So, I don't think this is a very great idea now that I think about it because I did in fact drink Slight headache. Oh, I like that I can actually walk behind here. I'm okay. Fine. I should have read that out loud. But I'm also eating. I didn't think about that. I'll... Fix it in the future. Okay. I'll stop by. Stop! Stop! Nothing's happening! Nothing's happening to you! Oh, I saw maggots. Oh, those maggots weren't real. Okay. Never mind. Sorry. I, I, I'm being too mean to him. I'm thirsty. Yep, yep, yep. 
I'm trying to hide the fact that I'm actually super nervous. I don't know why. I know Amnesia is like really old. And also like... Oh no. And also like, I, I used to watch people play this, but like... Yeah? Okay. Oh, a lantern. Awesome. I have a lantern now. You know, actually, just give me one second. Okay, guys. Just give me one second. Um, I want to do something real fast. Just one second. Just one second, guys. I, um, I have temporarily decreased the play something else reward. Hee <laughs> hee. I have temporarily decreased it. I decreased it too much on accident. Hold on. Give me a second. Sorry, I actually had decreased that a little too much. I have temporarily decreased the play something else reward because I'm a little nervous. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Stop, 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 stop. Nothing's happening to you. <laughs> should we, should we what? Should we stop playing? Maybe. See, I said I was gonna play more. Also, welcome back, Suske. Um. See, I, I said I was going to play more horror games, but I will say I did not account for the fact that I would be playing a horror game while drinking coffee. This is exactly true. If the streamer isn't enjoying it, the streamer should play something else. But, oh, I have a weapon. Okay. Okay. I'm going to continue playing this for right now. But I I I'm not sure how great of an idea it is. Hello? Can I not Okay. This fucking place is messy. Uh don't Yeah, I I'm I'm going to keep playing this for now. Man. Why did you just say? Because I was going to say, I'm willing to keep playing this right now. But I... I uh, did drink a little bit too much coffee. If you want... Okay, yeah, I was going to say, if you want, you can cancel it. And I'll bring it back up to um, a higher price. I am an anxious, um, coffee drinker. There we go. I'll pull that up to that and I'll keep it there, but. But yeah, I think right now I'll play it, but I, if I do end up changing it, I'll ask Frankly you to pick August, the game. 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. Okay. 
God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old Why? and weak, and yours young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, okay. breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Okay. Why? Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Why? Your former self, Daniel. But why? Why does he want me to kill him? Where did my broom go? Did they take my broom? Oh no, it's right here. I put it right there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being like all pussy about the game. Um, my anxiety's literally just increased because I drank a lot of coffee. I'm sure I will be fine. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get! I know I don't, but I feel bad. A fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought. Just like the one- Okay. Just like the ones he had at some other point in his life that I don't know about now. Why are they telling me how to run now? Oh, why are they telling me how to run now? Oh. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. Okay, well I found out where I'm supposed to go. Do I have a stamina bar, or am I good to just forever run? Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Um, okay, cool. Does that affect my sanity? Maybe. Okay. Sorry, my bad. I guess I need to go to the inner sanctum. I wanted to explore, though. I think I can come back to this. Okay, well, I was told to go to the inner sanctum and kill somebody, so let's go down to the inner sanctum and kill somebody. Fabrica Elicatoria? Okay. Never mind. Fair enough. Hmm. All's good. Okay, well, I- okay. Forget what I said, then. Let's... Oh, it's a bird, okay. Tub tubularium? Is that when it's, like, totally tubular? Archives, okay. Okay, yeah, let's go towards the screaming, I guess. I'm feeling better now, guys. I'm feeling better now. Laboratory, I'm assuming, is where I have to go. That feels like a place where a woman would scream. The other children cheered him on, his name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought, and struck his victim with a rock. Okay. Oh. Why am I long? Why are things going? Is 
stop. This isn't a very good laboratory. Okay. Sorry. I'll keep that up then. Okay. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Help? There should be more Kubrak. Let me see, let me see. And one part Aqua Force. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are a given, and the cuprite binds them as well. Or in the cuprite... I'm dyslexic. That's that's a joke. Cuprite binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis and hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid, acidic, and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. predicament. Open! Stop. I'm trying to do things. One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. <laughs> Hurts my eyes. That's it? Okay. Can I, can I not take that? Okay, it just okay, cool. Bye. Don't I have oil? I do. My bad. I don't think there's anything else I can do here. I think that's kind of all I have right now. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she too would be punished. Who the fuck is Hazel? Okay, let's go to the cellar. Uh, cellar Venaria sounds like a wine cellar, so I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to go. Okay. Never mind, guys. Sorry. Okay. Um, up here, maybe? Not there. What about here? What's that? Is that all this hay? Oh, no. It's... Oh! Don't mind if I do. Tabularium. This place is locked. Archives. Traveling to Dover meant going through Canterbury. He made sure to pay visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with neglect of family. I'm assuming these are about, um, these comments are about Daniel, who is me, I think. Rare books. Catalogs. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, okay. They're just they're just grabby, touchy books. Okay. Crush it. Sixteenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Okay. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall Excuse lead me, the men into the door. ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Okay. So I'm learning my own story. Okay. Cool. Cool. I wonder if there's like a magic... Like a secret passage? Guess not. Now I just look like an asshole. Oh, I don't like the fact that this was like ripped open. Hey. I can tilt. Is that like an anxiety thing? Is that what that was? Oh, I assume so. What's this? I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break the seal. Wilhelm, House of Gerrach. Cool, I don't know who that is. Which has a habit of being whack. Sadly. I can assure you that stream is doing fine on my end, though. I sure ain't being horrible. Can I just open the windows and get out of here? Study. Yeah, hey, what's going on in the study? I don't know how I feel about that sound I just heard. Shirts? In the study? Why do you have shirts in the study? 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The okay. walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped 
sealing me inside. I was trapped. Okay. That's... That's it? Okay. Sorry. Alright. Fair enough. I was on my... Okay. So, I... Daniel... am a archaeologist? I mean, obviously I'm British. It doesn't take much information to know that. So I guess I work at the British Museum. Or with the British Museum. I should not have used my lantern up so fast. A book has fallen. Ooh, piano. It's very pretty piano, too. What's in the box? Open. Oil! This local history. Oh. Um, I don't think a locked door opens like that. But all right. I heard piano. Dang it. Okay. Well, somebody here was playing piano. Have I been down here before? I have. Okay. We're doing good, guys. We're doing good. Hello? Can I help you? Why is there blood on these rocks? Why? Bug. Girl, I'll take that. Oh, uh, I know I'm getting lured into a false sense of security. I know something bad is gonna happen soon. Probably in there. What? Where? What's happening? I don't I don't get it. Okay. Prussia. Am I in Prussia? What's this? Ow! Ow! What is happening? All I did was pick up a book! 16th May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. Okay. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself Can I toward walk? the enchanting oh, I can't. Light. Looks like a person. A little bit in front of the light. Oh no, it's this. It's it a was altar. for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Okay. I'll follow the rules and I'll just follow it. Is it a orb? I ponder orbs. Out, closing it in my hands. Oh. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away. No. Unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. Cool. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces 
of a most peculiar relic. Whoa. It's stars. How wonderful. Okay. So. On an expedition for the British Museum. I got trapped. Bless you. The castle is okay. old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Okay. Well, I can't do anything about that right now. Okay, so... Have I been caved in this entire time? I don't think so. Okay. How am I supposed to leave? It's a fragile but not broken by hand. I don't have anything that I can... break. My head is pounding, my hands are shaking. So I'm not doing very good at keeping my sanity well, but... Okay, so I need to find something I can use to break that. Can I use this? No. Um... It is breakable by hand, you fucking liar. I just broke it. Oh my lord. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? No. You I can not. never be too careful, that if I do. I need to be much better with my oil conservation. But it's so easy. Ooh. Let me in. I'm so good at this game. Alstadt in Bredenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Aldstadt. Deep within the East Prussian woods, for centuries there had been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brandenburg. The quiet forest-clad mountains, dressed with scattered lakes, is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will clearly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have sighted them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called Gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? How long do you think that war lasted? Mm, most years last, uh, like, five years. Or probably five years. <laughs> A visit undone. 
Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known er er erudite, I don't know the word, uh, visited Alstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. Are you a single fucking fortnight joke? I'm kicking you out. <laughs> During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Gren Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? This is the last one. The Immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Aldstadt. Like most of those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been very, uh, has always been secretive, secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth of death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted Order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of the country. Cool. So I may be in an immortal man's house. No, but I want in, so it's not locked. Oh yeah, there's definitely something back there. Um... Okay, so the dude was talking about... Timing. Okay. Fuck. Where's the last one? I understand what I'm supposed to do, but I don't know where the other one is. Okay, I don't think I did it right. Now, both of them are going, but that's not correct. I'm missing something. Which is the one that I- where am I missing? It's, um... Oh, it's right here. Okay. Are you serious? Oh, damn. Damn! Where is it? Yeah, but I'm missing something. Here it is. That's two. Three. Awesome. Wow. Let's look at everything we're uh, not supposed to look at first. Because I just saw a key. Okay. Let's see if there's anything in here first. Yep. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brandenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the manor has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. 
Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah! Yeah? Okay. 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 So. We're gonna go to the wine cellar. If I can figure out how to. At this point. Oh, I need to combine my... Hello? There we go. Give! More! Good lord. Okay. For now, I think I'm mostly okay. Oh, wait. How do I get back? Through here? No. No. Not through here. How do I get back? Wait. How... How do I get back? This was just open. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, how, where am I supposed to go? Oh wait, there was a door that was locked. Maybe that's where I'm supposed to go? Oh, it just opened for me. Wonderful. Don't make sounds at me. Cool. Not my issue. What the fuck was that? 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 What do you mean I can't go back through the study? What the fuck do I do about that? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? What does that mean? I have to go there, but that's what the creature last was. But that's- I saw one there, too. What do you mean? I have a weapon. I have a weapon. I'll hit you with it. My ear hurts. Hold on. There we go. I will beat the shit out of you. guys oh, okay I 
didn't mean for that. What do you mean for that? Is it okay? Cheer. Run, 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 run. Why aren't you running? Why aren't you running? Ooh. Okay, so from what I can understand, the story is that I... Hello? Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Wonderful. Brilliant. Incredible storytelling. Um, awesome. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Laboratory, no. Wine cellar. Is that over here? Um, so, anyways, the story from what I understand is that... Um... my sanity and doing good okay sorry so i daniel worked with the british museum old archives i worked with the british museum and on an expedition uh i got like crushed the cellar i got crushed and found an artifact. So that's what I'm understanding. Uh, and also, uh, I don't want to play this anymore. So. I actually think I'm going to end stream. Okay, so, I will say, I did get braver, and I did overcome my fear. But this stream has been going on for three hours. And that's a little longer than I wanted this stream to be. Oops, that's Amicia. Let's not play that. Um, yeah, so we will pick this up probably. Probably. Um, but I figure it's good to stop right before we get too far, because it's just sort of an introduction, I guess. <laughs> um, I don't have a date for my next stream, but it'll be soon. Might be tomorrow. Who knows? If you join my Discord server, um, you will always know when I'm going to have a stream. So there it is in the chat. Um... But yeah, I think I'm going to wrap this up since it is been it has been almost 3 whole hours. Let's let's find someone to raid. Not on Twitter. Uh, on Twitch. So let's go ahead and find someone to raid. Okay. Hmm. Don't raid my house, please. Not a big fan of that. Not a huge fan of that. Um, but yeah, this is a three-hour stream. Not incredibly... No, I don't really want to go too far. Uh, especially not in the game, because I know I'm going to get latched onto the game really quickly. Okay, so. Would you guys be more interested in... Minecraft or Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Minecraft or Breath of the Wild Which one are you more interested in? 
Zorlo? Okay. So you guys would rather have uh, Legend of Zelda? Okay. So, I'm going to send you guys over to uh, Soul. He is a squirrel VTuber. And, um... He's currently got, like, this whole maid cafe going on. Uh, this maid cafe vibe kind of going on with his stream. So, uh... Yeah, I think that makes sense to go raid. So, Raid, what is his username? Raid, the kindest soul. We will set that up. Um, I'm sorry if you guys just joined in. Uh, <laughs> I'm in my stream. <laughs> so, you guys are going to go raid uh, the kindest soul. I'll set that up here in a second. Uh, he's a squirrel VTuber. And like I said, right now, he's kind of got like this squirrel cat boy made type thing going on so um yeah thanks everybody so much for today um thank you for froggy for helping me do the model uh thank you to everybody actually that's been a part of this if you're interested you can go see my stream credits um in my about section uh let's see thank you so much everybody for stopping by um don't forget to eat something drink some water uh, and if you have any pets tell them that I love them uh, don't forget to take your medicine and give me an awesome follow maybe an awesome subscribe question mark maybe <laughs> um, happy Valentine's Day to everybody even if you don't celebrate it um, I hope you have a good day um, let's see what else do I have to promote I have a Twitter at battle kale I have a Discord, which is uh, right in chat right now. And I have a Throne Gifts. Um, if you would like to give me a Valentine's gift or help me celebrate my re-debut, it is also in chat right now. It is the only um, safe for streamers gifting service. So, or at least it's the first. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I really had a great debut. It's been a lot of fun today. And even though I had a brief moment, with amnesia, I'm feeling better now. <laughs> so, we're gonna go ahead and raid the kind of soul. Everybody get ready. This is my, uh, squirrel friend. I want you guys to say hello from the big bunny. Oh, thank you, Deli. Hi, Deli. This is the person that made all my fun stuff. We are ending right now, but I do recommend that you go, um... Raid the kindest soul. So Deli is the person that made all my overlays, by the way. But hi, Deli! Okay. It's okay! There's always gonna be streams in the future. Okay. Um, if everyone's ready, <laughs> we're gonna go now. I'm sorry, Deli, that we're ending, like, right as everything's going. Um, my VODs will be up on YouTube, so if you want to see the whole stream, go ahead. We are going to raid right now, okay? I love you guys so much. Thanks for everything. Especially you, Deli, and especially Froggy. I don't know if anyone else is in the chat right now. And especially thanks to all my big mods. So, okay. Love you guys. Have fun. Say um, hello from the bun. 